Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Mitlok with your host Nitin Nair. As always before we begin a huge thank you to all our listeners, viewers and subscribers who have been constantly supporting us with their love in the form of comments and other participation in our community questions that we frequently ask on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much and if you haven't liked or subscribed our videos please do that because this opens up a whole new discussion element in our communities on various topics concerning mythology and it also helps youtube understand that these videos should be shown to a lot more people who have a similar interest in mythology and ancient cultures after looking at philippine and chinese mythology in our last episode and especially the story of long wang who is the lord of the sea and oceans we figured let's continue to stay back in southeast asia and look at another god who is associated with the seas and oceans but this time from indonesian mythology and the region of java this is devi lanjar the sea goddess according to javanese mythology devi lanjar is an indonesian sea goddess who stands in opposition to nyai roro kidul and the queen of the northern sea in the central javan city of pekalongan she is a well liked goddess her name lanjar denotes a childless divorced woman the pekalongan coast inhabitants are also well versed in the tale of her contribution and power devi lanjar is still revered as a ruler or queen of the north sea in pekalongan and other coastal communities along java's northeast coast according to legend Devi Lanjar's magical palace is situated close to the Slamaran River on the Pekalongan coast. Devi Lanjar is often represented as a beautiful woman but a widow. She is also associated with the sea and is often mentioned in conjunction with water. Devi Lanjar is mentioned to be a young widow without the mention of any other family members. Other versions claim that Radhan Bahu's wife Rantamsari is Devi Lanjar if her ancestry were to be determined she would be Nawang Si the younger sister of Nawang Ulan the queen of the south and south coast of java Devi Lanjar literally means goddess of the young widow and was originally called Devi Rara Kuning before receiving the title of Devi Lanjar when Radhan Bahu was cutting down trees at Gambiran currently located close to the Anim bridge Sorojenyen Pekalongan bridge Ratu Kidul ordered the goddess Lanja to lead an army of the jinn to disturb him however due to Radhan Bahu's superior strength he was able to defeat the entire jinn army as well as Devi Lanja herself after losing Devi Lanja made the decision not to go back to the south coast and requested Radhan Bahu's permission to settle and found a kingdom in Pelangolang with two lovely women Sri Lorenza and Sri Lopaka Locals think that Devi Lanjar has an invisible bank where regular people can borrow money from her but only for a fee of course Getting in touch with Goddess Lanjar is simple The Al Ikhlas only requires 41 readings and at night one should camp out the main door In exchange for your life or the life of a member of your family this lovely goddess will visit you and give you some of her treasures Devi Lanjar is still very revered especially by the people of Pekanlongan For instance if a child is reported missing from the beach Devi Lanjar is frequently blamed On Pekanlongan beach close to the Salamaran river it is rumored that her palace is still situated This is an example of how a goddess and her role in our lives can easily be misconstrued as having positive results purely for the sake of wealth and riches. Just like the story of Devi Lanjar, there are many stories in world mythologies where one can exchange one's life or soul or even one of that of their family members in exchange for wealth, riches, gemstones and good fortune. The story of how Devi Lanjar became a widow is still not clear but people continue to revere her in that widow form. 
this is one of the very rare examples of where a goddess is revered to in a widow form and this clearly symbolizes the amount of respect that the locals placed in the goddess despite the unfortunate incident which rendered her a widow we will be looking at a lot more interesting characters like this in the days to come and in our next episode we will be moving back into the pacific islands where we will introduce you to a man eating bird who will surely amaze you until next time this is your host nitin naya signing out by reminding you once again that mythlok is the home of mythology